Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force here and today we will be kicking off a playthrough of Darkest Dungeon. I wanted to do a challenging uh, but interesting playthrough and what we're going to do is a no torch run which basically means we're making the game harder for ourselves but uh, maximizing the amount of rewards that we get from it. Now if you don't know about Darkest Dungeon, if you haven't seen my prior coverage, uh, this is a roguelike turn-based RPG that's really supposed to be pretty stressful and oppressive with the game's mechanics. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about once we hop in. So we're just going to go ahead and start a brand new playthrough here. And alrighty, let's go ahead and get things started here. So I, I was trying to contemplate how I should sort of structure these playthroughs because I do feel, I honestly have been playing this game so much over the past 24 hours, I do feel like it's going to be something that I do a lot of and do multiple playthroughs of but we'll just have to see uh for now though we're gonna just start off from the very beginning i'll sort of talk you through some of my decision making uh the things that i'm doing why i'm doing them and everything like that all this tutorial stuff i'm obviously you know i played the game for like 12 or so hours so i <laughs> all this stuff i can talk you through as we go through it um so we're just going to start off here opening up uh, you can take a look you're going to see your percentage uh hero hit chance crit chance and all of that when you select your skills and you're mousing over your target so obviously you want to try to maximize that as much as possible get the highest uh, percent chance to hit and take out the uh, most threatening targets now what i'm eventually going to be sort of working towards here i believe is a uh, crit based build Let's just see if we can finish him off. He's only at 7 health. There we go. Uh, I'm going to be working towards a crit-based and potentially even no healer build. Uh, we'll be starting off, though, these first few episodes will include a healer because we won't quite have... You know, we won't quite have the character classes and the skill setups that we want to begin, uh, but we are still going to run early on with the no-torch methodology, which, uh, again, as it implies... We're not picking up torches, we're making the, the runs more difficult as a result. Uh, enemies are going to do more damage, but we also get a higher crit chance. And, and then on top of that, we have a better chance of... Um, get a higher crit chance and we have a better chance of finding loot. So that's, that's, that's sort of the idea. And if we lose some people in the process, like, we might, this guy's dead already. <laughs> if we lose some people in the process, then so be it. Uh, okay. He's seriously, he's seriously going to die. He just got destroyed right in the face. Like, this is really... Are we really going to lose in the tutorial here? Is, a, is that how we're going to start off this playthrough? So he's got a 50% uh, reduction to crit. So I don't know. I think I do want to try to stun him, though. Just so he doesn't get any damage on the character behind us. Hopefully, okay, so he does get hit with that stun, which is good. My problem is I'm having a hard time with this guy back here. Alright, so we've already lost our one dude. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. We have already lost a character. We just started. I'm going to pump this guy's defense up. I mean, this is sort of what RNG can... This is sort of what RNG can do to you, right? You just you get completely screwed. You could get completely screwed, but with his pumped up defense, I am uh, pretty positive that we'll make it through this alive. It's just a matter of uh, what... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have enough characters for my very first mission, to be quite frank with you. I think I might be stuck with three, which is going to make everything that we're doing here that much more hilarious. But it's okay, I've got a game plan. I know what's up. I know what's up. Alright, thank you for that. So he's at uh, seven health, so this if this lands, 80% chance, there we go, that's going to finish him off. And this guy is a bit harder to hit, but his stun resist is really low. So I think I'm going to try to start off with a stun. I got 78% chance to land that. And he has, uh, there we go, so we do end up landing the stun. So that means we're not going to take any return damage. And I can uh, try to smack him in the face just like that. How excellent. How excellent indeed. And this chest is a trapped chest. Every time I've tried to open it, it's done nothing but been negative but that's not actually a big deal i'm assuming if it says trap chest we probably just don't want to open it right yeah that's probably the idea okay so first mission successful question mark <laughs> we lose a character how shameful all right now it's time to head into town so when we start off we only have access to a few buildings here's a little recap of our first week uh, we've got the ruins now, and we lost one of our freaking damn characters. We're also going to have access to the stagecoach, and, um, so we can check this. This is already, like, this is so funny. 
that we actually already lost someone. And I think to start off, oh, okay, she, they are giving me a full three, fantastic. So we're gonna pick up all of these guys here. And I would like to start off with going up to four. So we're gonna be able to recruit four each week going forward. So that means if we need to replace people, we will be able to do so fairly easily. And there's nothing else we can purchase right now because everything is currently locked. Uh, so we will just embark on our very first mission, which is going to be uh, here skirmish here on a state map, short apprentice level one. And we'll just get these guys into position. She prefers actually second in line, huh? That's quite fine. We're going to go with her second in line. He's going to be... He actually prefers to be right in the middle, and he's all right all the way in the back. So we're going to put him all the way in the back, and we're going to put her right here. And provision time. So to start off, we're just going to take eight food, zero torches as we talk about. I'm going to take a single shovel and a single key. I will take uh, one bandage, and I think we will be good with that. Uh, now the idea here is that we're trying to spend as little money as possible on provisions so that we can still be successful on our missions. That's that's the that's the game plan. That's the the concept. All right. So let's take a look at this map. Um, I guess we will just start off going down, and then we'll just have to snake our way back across. And uh, I don't know that we're gonna have much scouting going on. Let me check here. So before I start looting things willy nilly, I want to look at the, our resistances to blight and disease, as well as our ability to open up traps. And that's generally uh, resistance to blight disease debuff and bleed, all of that stuff, as well as our ability to open up traps. So he's 40% across the board on resistances, but he can't open up traps very well. Uh, she's got 30% across the board. She's not touching traps at all. 40, 40, 40, 20, but 15% on traps. And he is 30, 40, 40, 40, 10% on traps. So this guy will be opening up the traps for us. Um, we will have this guy pick up everything else that could potentially put a debuff, bleed, blight, or disease effect on him which are, you know, like corpses and stuff like that, all have the possibility of uh, do, having those negative effects on your characters. Now, unfortunately, until, unless we get some scouting, we're not going to be able to tell that those traps are coming up, so we just kind of have to deal with it. Uh, so I hope we get scouting in the near future. All right, so here's going to be our first major battle. Let's see how this goes. I uh, haven't checked out the heals that we have yet. Um, both... Our fourth and third slot, um, the vessel here, as well as our Oculus, has the potential. All right, he's got uh, he's got the heal, 0 to 10, but it puts a bleed debuff. But the great thing is, any of our characters with high bleed resistance are good heal targets for his bleed. So that's pretty much uh, everyone but him. Like I'm, I feel comfortable healing both of these two with that, and her kind of as well. Uh, so we could go ahead and just start off with a heal. This is going to be a party heal for one to two. Or we could take a look here and try to smack one of these guys. Um, this could potentially kill one of them. I'm actually going to start off with this. Oh, that was very close, but not quite enough. And he can finish this guy off with four to eight. He has got you know, vapors, uh, emboldening vapors for plus damage. He can cure blight uh, slash bleed effects on targets or himself. And that's a single target. Uh, what is the percent chance this is better so let's try to finish him off there we go looks good and he's got the heal and i'll probably just toss that on himself right now actually what, what else can we hit we can pull that guy forward now i'll just go with the heal i'm gonna put the heal on himself he resists the bleed and unfortunately there wasn't much of a heal from that at all but that's what you get it's a zero to ten, ten chance it's amazing when you hit it for ten it otherwise it just kind of blah and we're gonna pop these guys for four to five and just taking a little bit of damage, not that big of a deal. He can potentially kill him with this one. Got it. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Taking a little bit of damage, no big deal. This is a good time for the party heal, so we'll go ahead and heal everyone up. Hits for two instead of the one, which is very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get the stun on this guy. Or, yeah, that's not the greatest chance to finish him off, so I'm just going to go with the stun. It also does five damage. That, that was nice. That was on the high end of that stun damage. And we can go ahead, and all he can actually do right now is heal. And we'll go ahead and heal up this guy. Yeah, he's got a he's got 40% resist to the bleed, plus he got the heal, so that topped him off here. So this double healer strat 
is nice, but it also takes a real long time. Uh, so that is why in the future I am going to be going with the uh, the actual no healer strat. It makes the runs a bit quicker, which is really uh, it's, it can be really cool. But it's also it's 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 just much different. It's a much different playthrough. I saw I saw someone uh, post up about it on Reddit, and I said that looks really awesome. And I tried it on one of my saves, and I quite enjoyed it. And that's we're going to be taking that. Uh, we're going to be doing that uh, in the future here. Let's go ahead and actually let's just go ahead and party heal. We got a couple of people who could use it. There we go. And um, she doesn't have the stun, which I, I do enjoy when she has it, but 4 to 9 damage with that. It's 3 to 7. Let's go with the 4 to 9. That's 4. And he's going to get a shot off on our warrior. Not too much damage, though. And let's go ahead and... Oh, I can't believe all he can do is heal up from the spot. It's because we don't have anyone further back. Uh, sure. Let's try to heal this guy. I hope he doesn't get hit with a bleed. He doesn't, but there was no heal effect from that anyways. Let's get the stun on him. He's got low stun resist chance, so that applies. He only had a 10% chance to resist it. And then that nails too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We get a torch, but we are not going to use it. Um, a big problem with my current makeup, though, is we do get plus torch from uh, these some abilities from both of these characters, which uh, that's unfortunate because we want that to drop down for our increased chance. And here is our shovel. Going to bypass that. And we make it through into this room. Let's see if this is an empty room or a battle room. It is a battle room. Okay. So let's see how we're going to do this. Um, take a look at the incision. I don't need to do any of these right now. And I don't really care for that plus damage so much right now. It's going to be 80% on those and 75 on those. Yeah, he hits... He seems to hit these guys very, very well. Now, what about, uh, this is blight damage. The blight resist for these guys are fairly low. Let's get the one at lower health. We can get him dead quicker. He does resist, he does end up resisting the blight though. Uh, we can hit both of these guys in the back for three to five damage. Um, so let's do that. Oh, <laughs> that 11 crit, holy moly. And that was awesome because that also reduced the stress of our entire team there. That was fantastic. We're going to have to do that again with him. Uh, and then for this front row, let's try to... Uh, actually, let's just try to smack this guy down. Nice, 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 nice. Finish him off. Uh, although, my, my problem with that is now that his double hit is only going to hit one person in the back, so it might not be worth even doing it. Since it will only hit one instead of two. Uh, and party heal or hit this guy for four to nine and potentially kill him. Let's go with this. Ah, gosh, so close. So close. But no cigar. And then he hits for six. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. This is going to be a three to five. He's at six. That's not, that's a little too risky. Let's heal her up. She resists the bleed, gets healed for three. That's, I call that a success. Um, we can hit this guy. That's going to be the kill. We got this guy back here. I can smack him. Three to seven. Four to nine. Could do it, though. Nice. Got seven, so that finishes him off. And then I think we'll just stun this guy. Although he's got a high stun resist, yeah. So maybe I, I guess I won't bother doing that anymore. Won't bother trying to stun him. I might just defense my warrior so he doesn't take too much damage from that. And hopefully we get a tick on him. Yes, we do get a blight tick, which is nice. Let's heal up the team here. Two across the board. Thank you much. Love ya. Love ya. Heal him up. Resist the bleed. Heals for six. That's the sort of thing I want. And that blight damage is good to see. It looks like he's not just targeting the front row. So since he goes for her too, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll just start smacking him. Six for 13. We get 10. And let's heal up her. She resists the bleed. Love it. Let's smack him. We could get another stack of blight on him, which would tick for more. That is four damage, and he's at four health. So he's just dead the next time he goes. So I'm going to give this guy some defense. I actually, I'm not sure if it carries over. I think some of some buffs carry over, but I'm not sure if the self buff carries over, if it's the last thing you do. Uh, heirloom chest, let's open it up. Contents are mine, and we get a deed and bust. Uh, that's some upgrade stuff for in town. 
And yes, the buff did carry over, so that's that's perfect. That's That worked out very well. So yeah, it's a good idea to... Uh, when you've got debuffs, blight or bleed on characters, it's a good idea to just check the the tick, the duration, and how much health they have remaining, especially if they're a somewhat low health. Like I did there, I managed to carry a buff through a couple of rooms, which is, you know, if I came across any other fights or whatever, then I would have been good to go. Yes, the torch is going down, but we were doing that on purpose. So our stress increases, uh, the monster chance to hit and damage increases, but so does our loot and crit chance. And... Um, Loot is really the big thing here. Crit chance will come into play with when we do later builds with uh, different types of characters. Crusader in the mid is not what I want to see. Uh, he can basically do nothing there. So I'm going to have to swap him. She's okay in front, though, because she still has... She can still do decent stuff in that position. Uh, let's hit the two in the back. No crits this time, but we did get five and three back there. And as you can see, she can still do stuff up here. So I'm going to have her hit. Uh, let's check the damage and percent. This is four to nine. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit the... It doesn't matter which one they both have. Oh, yeah! Getting the nine. And... Let's go ahead and hit the guy who's uh, lower health. Let's see if we get Blight. We do. Now that's going to be ticking for two for three rounds. He is at six health. Uh, so I want to do a little bit more damage to him. But then the tick will finish him off the turn after. Even if I just get, like, two damage off on him, we'll be good. Oh, thankfully he missed. So yeah, he's basically just done without getting much uh, accomplished. Um, okay, so why don't I heal up right now? Let's go with the heal on him. Bleed is resisted. Heals back up to full. In some ways, I like the Oculus healing. I like the Oculus. In some ways, I like the Oculus healer uh, better than the Vessel healer, to be honest with you. Uh, and, and you can kind of see why, like... His heal can be very good with the right party makeup of a high bleed resist. It can work out very, very well. Ouch, the crit. But he's still got plenty of health, so it's not a huge deal. And that is missed. And we can hit both of them. Get the kill, plus some damage in front. Also some stress relief there. And there's the kill with that. This is going so very well for me. So, so very well. Alright, let's keep on moving. Oh, yeah, another battle. Two battles. Holy moly. Uh, I have to check the percentage here. These guys, oh no, they don't have much dodge. They've got very low health, too. Very, very low health. Like, incredibly low health. But they do have uh, a lot of speed. So they're going to be getting a few swings here. Before we get to do much. Okay, nice resist, thank you. All right, let's hit these two in the back. 85% chance for three to five. This could kill both of them. Uh, kills one of them. Gets the other one down just a little bit. Uh, do I want a group heal? Yeah, let's group heal right now. Eh, only one. That thing That thing feels so pathetic. It really does. And this is a 80% chance for three to seven. Uh, oh my gosh. So these guys are so low, but we didn't end up securing the kill. Did he just get hit with a stun? Yes, he did. That sucks. All right, let's finish one of these off here. What do we got? 75% chance on both of these. It doesn't matter which one is damaged. Let's, so let's do the one with the higher crit chance, I guess. And, um... Oh, you know what? That one's a self-heal, too. That's what we should be doing. And these guys just need two to four damage for either one of them. So that will take care of that. And then he, 85% chance for one to three, which should finish him off. There you go. And what are we looking at here? We got four food, so that's enough for another hunger run. Uh, in case that comes up again. And we're getting, we're sort of getting there. This might be tough. I don't know if we're going to make this. I don't know if we're going to make this. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Oh no, he stole them from me. He's a kleptomaniac. We didn't get the items. <laughs> there were a ton of items, but we didn't get them because he's a kleptomaniac. What a jerk. What a jerk. All right, he's got a bleed on him. Do we still have a bandage? Yeah, we do. Is that a pull? That is a pull. Um, those positions are okay, though, because she can still heal. She can, al she can also do this for damage. Uh, I guess we'll do the group heal now. We get the two, which is great. 
Uh, and let us smoke bomb. Yeah, let's smoke bomb with this guy, three to five. Actually, shoot, we should have gone for this guy. Well, we got the uh, tick. Oh, no. That's a lot of damage. He needs to be back for that, but we have this. Which, how is this? Oh, this is a stun. This guy's got less stun resist, so we could go with that. I kind of want to move him back, though, because I really want to do Abyssal Artillery. So let's actually use his turn to move him back. And um, you, uh, we are taking increased damage, of course, because of the low light level. I know about bandaging. I'm going to wait, though, to see if he gets any more bleeds, because that, that bleed alone is not that big of a deal. Let's hit both of those guys. And Ren of the Old Gods only adds for two, but does cost the bleed. And we're gonna. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We might have to abandon. Uh, we might have to abandon this run. It's not looking great here. Have to abandon it before we leave. I mean, I could also bump up the light level to offset some of the damage, but that that's not what we're trying to do here. So. All right, this is going to be 6 to 12, so we might kill him. That's good. I think I should have just focused on killing that guy in the front to begin with anyways. All right, let's pop this on this guy. He resists the bleed, gets 5 heal. That's great. He, uh, he had a stun, so no we get nothing out of him for the turn. That pull is really obnoxious. This guy's back down at death's door. We might be losing our Oculus here at the very least. I guess we could heal him up. He hits the bleed. Um, hmm. Let's do a group heal. One across the board, not great. But it helps offset his bleed that the Oculus just gave himself. And... Dodge that, which is good. Let's uh, put some blight on him. No, that was missed. Okay, he's nine health left. This could finish him off. 80%, hey, gosh, so close. So, so very close. Let's see, okay, that targets that guy. That is a lot of damage. That crit is painful. Man, oh man. Heal up the group, there's the two. His turn, put a heal on the cleric, I would like. She hits the bleed, but she gets a 10 heal, which is totally fine because the bleed is only for three. And hopefully this hits the front guy, kills him, and then we'll also get the back one. There we go. So we got three for the front, and then we got some extra damage in the back. Uh, we can get a 67% chance to hit on this. And she, she, doesn't, she doesn't have a ton of blight resist, so it does apply, beautiful. What is she going to do here? That's a pushback. Which is fine, because she can still heal. Actually, can she heal from the fourth position? I know she can heal from the third position. I'm not sure if she can do her group here from the fourth. And he is uh, he is on death's door now, too. Ouchie wawas. Alright. Why don't you heal him up? He's probably going to get hit with the bleed. Yeah, because he doesn't have a lot of bleed resist. But he gets healed for nine, so that, that works out. And we can do a group heal here. We could also hit for three to eight, which might kill her. Nice, and it also self heals her up a bunch. So, so there's three heal for her, plus we finish him off. Uh, this is probably gonna land, and we should get the stun as well. So we're gonna use this opportunity to get some healing going here. Um, I am going to, I'll apply, a, I'll apply a dot on him, but besides that, I'm gonna keep stunning. Oh man, he goes again? Alright, whatever. He's got four damage, he's at five health. Uh, so let's heal up, heal up yourself. There's three heal, resist the bleed, that's good. I want her to get another tick. And he's just gonna kill himself um, with the debuff next time around. So I'm just gonna use this opportunity to buff up and stuff. Because he is dead on his next tick. Um, you buff, why don't you buff his damage or whatever. It's a damage buff. Oh, he can't have both applied. All right, and then also heal yourself. 
Only healed for one, but he resisted the bleed, so that's okay. Uh, the tick finishes him off. Awesome. Take all, and we have finished the dungeon. Really? I thought this was like a 90% room clear. <laughs> well, I'm probably going to keep going then. Uh, that's hilarious. This is a lock sarcophagus. Let's unlock this bad boy. And I'm going to go a little bit more. That's no, There's no reason for me to uh, stop right now. I could still get some more loot here. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, what position does he need to be in for these? Can he be in the back? If he's in the back position, the only thing he can't do is incision. But incision isn't that amazing for me anyways. So let's just move him to the back position. Um, and what about him? What can he not do? In, he can do this in, in, in uh, third position. He can do this. He can't do that, but he can still do this. But this is fine. We haven't been using this anyways. So this is fine. Let's keep going. Oh, no. Shoot, I don't have a shovel. Oh, this guy's going to get... Ah, uh, gets hit with fearful. No, 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 no. Yes, I know. He's afflicted. I'd like to keep going for more treasures, though. I'd like to keep going for more treasures. All right, so we are at full dark. This is a lot of crit and a lot of loot, but it also means we're going to be taking a bunch more damage. Let's heal him, self heal up. Resist the bleed heals for two. Uh, let's put the poison down. It's only 67% for these things to hit here. Ends up landing though, which is good. Plus he gets hit with the blight, which means he is dead his next turn. So I will not touch him after this. I will let him. I will leave him be because he is dead. He was dead the next time around. And he is on death's door. Let's try to make sure we stop him from dying, huh? Okay. And why don't we? Seventy-three percent chance to land a stun, and he's got low stun resist, so that hits. Excellent. He is going to hit the back guy. Misses, which is perfect for me. Stun gets applied. How do I want to... Let's see here, though. 2 to 6 damage. 4 to 9 damage. 63% chance to kill him. Oh my gosh, it really gets 4. <laughs> Are you serious with that? <laughs> really only gets 4. Let's heal this guy up. Hits the bleed, but he heals for 5, so that's fine. 2 finishes him off. This guy goes. Awesome. Land this. Kill the front. That guy takes some damage. And we can go with another heal. Let's heal yourself. Hits the bleed, but heals for two. That's actually not. That's a negative. That's a total loss because it's three damage total. Dodges this. Just don't hit the back guy, please. 73% uh, chance to stun. Get it. All right, let's try to use this opportunity for some heals here. And, uh, oh no, he is going again? Okay, I was gonna say. Alright, let's finish him off. 63, no, it's not good. Let's just heal. Her percent chance to hit was very low, so I don't think it was worth. Let's, uh, heal yourself. Or why don't we try healing him? Maybe we'll get a boon here. Three? With a resist of the bleed. Good. That's a prior bleed. And that does it. How many more rooms do we have? We got a couple more rooms. We're collecting some treasure, so let's keep on rocking. I know, you're not happy. You're very stressed. I know, I know, I know. Not a boss room. Let's keep on trucking. Terror madness, right? Exactly. Oh no, he hits a trap. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil and he gets hit with fearful. I'm gonna have to remove all this stuff now. But it's okay, because remember, uh, we're okay with actually just ditching people. We're really just trying to maximize our gold gain. So if we end up losing people too, it's not really a huge deal for me. Get a thousand gold. That's the sort of thing I'm looking for. That is tremendous. That is tremendous. All right, here we go. Here's a battle. And we get surprised. I think we're going to lose him here. I believe there's a decent chance we're going to lose him. And he's going to be tested. Hopefully he perseveres. He does not. He gets irrational. And he's all the way in the back, which is very bad because he can't do jack back there. 
78% chance for the 1 to 2. 73 for 3 to 5, but then we get a bleed for these two. Or, excuse me, the um, affliction, the blight. Uh, let's see how much he hits. Hits him for 3. That puts him at death's door. We got some heals incoming, I think. Do they just do they have a few more? Okay, they do. Persist is that. Right. Alright. You can't heal from this position? That's really bad. Get back there. Oh, good dodge. Good dodge. Alright. And all she can do up here is smack people. So 73 chance for 4 to 10. Gets 4. This is a tough battle. I don't know. No, are you serious? What are you doing, dude? Alright, uh, heal him up. Gets the bleed, but gets healed for four. That works out. You smack him for eight. That's not enough? Oh my gosh. Okay, he's gonna die from his dot, at least. So, does he refuse to move? Is that what's happening? Yeah. Yeah, so this guy's out of the battle. I might have to try to retreat here. Because he, he literally is doing... He literally can do nothing. He can't move forward while this guy is fearful. Yeah. I... I'm going to see if we're going to be able to retreat here. Hits for eight. This guy's at death's door now. That guy dies from a bleed. <laughs> this is why this game can go south so fast. Uh, and when her, when she gets tested, she becomes selfish. I am not positive, but I think one of these is going to stop me from retreating. I'll I'd like to find out, but it's taking so long for me to even have... Okay, there we go. So we are able to retreat. Let's get the hell out of here. So we at least take our uh, treasures with us. Wow, that was a bit intense. That was a bit intense. I got I got a little greedy. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, we got a boatload of money. And losing one character doesn't really matter. In fact, even if we lost all of these characters, we're, what we're really trying to do is just try to maximize our gold gains. So as long as we don't lose everything in the process, as long as we don't die in the process, then that works out all right. Uh, so we are 1,500 right now. Now let's see how many people we get stress relief from the tavern as well as the abbey available to us now. Let's check the stagecoach. Um, so we've got a full new group of people. Um, if I do this run, it will be a no healing run. I can't take these people back out, so I'm going to have to heal them. I'm going to have to have them uh, get some stuff going here. Can she? She, she can't hit any of these? Why? Oh, she lo she likes the drink. All right, well, let me give her some of the drink here. The bar. Okay. And then over here, this is what I typically prefer. I just want to see what they can go to. He can do the... Okay, they can both do that, and he can do the bottom one. Um, let me upgrade this. Okay. And we can put him here. And this guy we can put here. And then we'll have this uh, group of four for our next adventure, which will be in the next video. I'll see you then.